After a wonderful week in Crete, we were sad to leave but excited for the next part of our trip. Off to South Africa to see my family. As we boarded, I realized my bus demolition experience had me thinking about how the plane was put together. I wonder how hard it would be to pull these bins out. After 20 hours of travel, we finally arrived in my hometown of Port Elizabeth, South Africa. Where we can enjoy time with family. And prepare for our South African wedding celebration. I don't get to go home often, so when I do, it is an absolute must for me to visit my favorite beach. With miles of unspoilt coastline known as Sards to the locals. As a wedding present, my new sister and brother-in-law took us on a two-day trip down the garden road. I was excited to go to an African big cat sanctuary. Jukani is a big cat rescue. It is home to big cats that have been abused, bred illegally for hunting, or kept as pets. Tigers are solitary animals and highly territorial. So in the wild, they're usually on their own and they need to patrol their territories. Patrolling is at least four hours in a day, because for almost 20 hours, tigers will sleep. Because they have been humanized, they are unable to return to the wild. Seeing these big cats made us realize that if our kitties back home were this big, they would surely kill us.
we encountered a troop of baboons on the side of the road, which is typical in this area. Cape baboons live wild in South Africa and are one of the largest of all monkeys. They share 94% of their DNA with humans, making them one of the top six closest genetically related animals to us on the planet. Their population is decreasing as their natural habitat disappears, and now they're commonly seen in suburbs in search of food to survive. <laughs> the next day, we got to visit Birds of Eden. Birds of Eden is the world's largest free-flight bird sanctuary. A mesh dome canopy hangs almost 200 feet up in the air and keeps the birds inside. The sanctuary's five and a half acres of indigenous forest are home to over 3,500 birds, consisting of 220 species. Hello. Hello. We saw so many birds. And one digger. I didn't know they had other animals in here. Neither Mela or I consider ourselves bird people, but seeing so many beautiful and unique birds in this wonderfully designed environment was one of the highlights of our trip. Growing up, my dad spent his holidays in a beach town called Kenton-on-Sea. And kept this tradition with us as kids. It was great to unwind post-wedding on this family honeymoon. But before we knew it, two weeks were up and we were heading back to Paris for a couple of nights. We hadn't even left the airport and our taxi was rear-ended. It was a real shock after 20 hours of traveling. The next day we both woke pretty sore, but were determined to make the most of our last two days in Paris. This time we stayed in Montmartre, Paris's 18th arrondissement. We took in the local sites, discovering the area that was home to artists, philosophers, and composers, such as Picasso, Renoir, Eric Satie, and Toulouse-Lautrec, at the turn of the 20th century.
and the highlight on this stop in Paris was a visit to Basquia du Sacre Cour de Montmartre. It is free to go inside the church, but for a small fee, you can climb the steps all the way to the top of the dome for amazing overlooks of the Paris cityscape. I don't recommend it for those with a fear of heights. Or if you are claustrophobic. It was time to head home and get back to work on the bus. Having stayed in a few tiny spaces on this trip, we took notes and had new ideas and inspiration for the next step of our bus conversion. Designing our floor plan. But we'll share that with you next time. <laughs>